Hello and welcome my friends to another episode of me playing against the Play Magnus app which simulates the playing strength of world champion Magnus Carlsen at different ages. So today we're going to play Magnus at the age of 12. Let's see what the text says today. While I was serious about chess, it wasn't my life. I was also a captain of my soccer team. This year, however, I took a year of school to travel Europe with my family where I competed in around 150 major tournament games. Have you played enough chess to beat me at 12? Well, we will find out, but 150 games, that is indeed a lot. But he wasn't that serious about chess, right? All right. Playing with the black pieces, I'm going to go for the Sicilian. And he goes bishop b5 check, which I answer with knight d7. He blitzes out the castle. I go a6, hitting the bishop. Bishop to d3. This is actually a very popular line right now. And I'll go knight gf6, rook e1. And now I will not go b5 because this is lined with c4. So I'll go e6, b5. And um, I think it's possible to go c4. Oh, it's like all blitz out. I mean, this is scary. <laughs> um, okay, what what about this one? Knight a3. The, the e4 pawn is hanging. But so is the b5 pawn, I'm guessing. Yeah, you, you guys see uh, I'm kind of out of my theory here. While well, he's like blitzing it all out. <laughs> Uh, so, what do I do here? Can I take the pawn on e4 in any sensible manner? I mean, the problem is that knight takes b5, threatening knight c7. Hmm. Still want to take on e4, I just want to grab that pawn. Okay, let's do it. Okay d3. I mean, the only problem is that I'm a little bit underdeveloped. That is the only problem. But apart from that, I'm not too afraid. Alright, so I could move my knight or it could take up the pawn on d3 right away. He takes with the queen. I have to move my knight more or less. I could also stabilize with d5. But uh, not sure how stable that is after all. All right. So I'm going to make a decision here. Moving the knight doesn't look right. And that rhymes. And now he takes. Now he takes. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, now he takes threatening knight c7. Mm, I didn't see this move coming, unfortunately. I wish I had. Would have been helpful. Uh, if I now play queen b7, he takes on d3. Hmm, that is slightly annoying. It feels annoying, at least. It feels annoying. Hmm... Hmm. Okay, I could go to c6, I could go to b7 with my queen. What do you guys think? What would you play here? Um, do I have any other moves? Queen a5, doesn't look that trustworthy. So queen c6, queen takes d3. I mean, the problem is with queen c6, he could hit me again with knight d4. That's what I don't like. That is what I really don't like. Okay, let's go queen b7. And now, can I play cool? I mean, playing cool against computer, you know, it usually backfires, so maybe I shouldn't play cool. But just to give you an idea, I want to go bishop e7 here. Uh, which definitely is a cool move, because I just... You know, say, I ignore the threat of him taking on e4. If he takes with the queen, I take the knight on b5 with my queen. If he takes with the rook, I maybe can go knight c5, but I'm not too sure about that. And that's why I'm saying, huh, I'm not sure if I should do this. 
but maybe it works. Hmm. I'm afraid I, I'll play this and I'll just get smashed. Um, the other problem is he might have a move like bishop f4 available, which could be annoying anyway, to be honest. Um, but okay, bishop e7, does it work or not? Does it work or not? I don't see why not. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So if you place queen a8, I can go queen b8. Uh, now he wants to get his knight into c6, as far as I can tell. Um, but I'm still not that worried. Maybe I should be more worried. I don't know. I don't know. I just need one more move. I just need to castle and I'm okay. So I could play queen a4, but I don't like b3. Um, I need to find a square for my queen. Maybe just queen b6. Hmm. I mean, there are many options here. Queen a6 is another move. Hold on. I have to maybe watch out about knight takes e6. Huh? Whew, knight takes e6 is is maybe I am slowly getting worried here but knight takes a6 indeed and knight takes e6 excuse me um that could be indeed a threat that is a threat if I play a move like queen b6 he could take on e6 takes takes queen d8 bishop g5 ah that looks scary guys that looks scary. I don't necessarily want to allow this if I can avoid it. Question is, can I avoid it? Queen c4. And if the queen c4, there's b3 is a move. And there's queen a8 check. But queen a8 can maybe just go bishop d8. But then there's bishop g5. Whew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that is. Hmm. That is a little bit annoying. So, what do I do? Do I just allow the sacrifice and see if I can survive somehow? Also, knight f5 is another move in the position, potentially. Which is also potentially annoying. Damn. Yeah, just I just need one more move to castle and then I'm saved, but gotta get that one move. Um, hmm. After queen c4 you can even play knight takes e6, I'm just noticing. Which damn it's also a problem. Queen c4, knight takes e6, queen takes e4, knight takes g7, and takes on e4. And if I take on e6, queen c4, knight takes e6, queen takes e6, he plays queen a8, check, picks up my queen. So the best shot I can see is to play queen b6. And to hope that I can survive this. But uh, Ain't gonna be easy. Ain't gonna be easy. Here's three pawns for the queen, uh, for the piece. But it's actually, I mean, could be worse. I'll play knight of six now. And shouldn't be too bad. Check, okay, I play king f7. Well, or queen d7. Queen d7. Hmm. Oh, king f7. Alright, we want to win somehow, so we gotta... Well, this is not a winning try. Hmm. Alright. Is he just gonna try to repeat moves? Well, I don't want to repeat moves. I mean, I just did. <laughs> you know, just to see what he's up to. Um, yeah, I don't really get where he's going with his queen. So, I think now maybe it's the time 
to play king f7, even though he could go queen a2 then, which is... Oh no, I can go queen d5 then, never mind. So king f7, why not? And now he pushes the pawns. He pushes the pawns. All right, I gotta get my rook out. Rook e8, he keeps pushing. I think I have to get out of this pin. So king f8 or king g6? That is the one million dollar question. Oh, okay, maybe not one million, but you get the idea. Um, somehow I like king g6 better. It's just my instinct is telling me that it's better to go there. Because my knight is protecting a lot of squares. And now he wants to go queen c2. I, I don't know, but queen c2 is not worrying me, really. Um, okay, I can go bishop c5. I can go queen d3. Queen d3 looks nice and active, but hmm, it's not doing that much. So bishop c5, I guess. Unless I'm dropping something, but I don't see it. So he gives this check, I drop back. Bishop e3? That is a slightly odd move, um, because it's just hurting his pawn structure. So I think I'm just going to take this. I mean, I could also play queen b6. Hmm, queen b6 is also interesting. But no, then he plays queen b3, and no, that's annoying. I don't want that, but now I'm pretty happy. I mean, I am pretty happy. And I'll go here. And he gives a lot of checks, but I don't know what he's what he wants. Mm. Okay, here I think I'm in a really good spot, my friends. I might win this actually. Might just take a few more hours, but. You know, I'll take my time. Um, knight g4 comes to mind, but I need some space for my king, first of all. So I'll go h6. And now I could play knight g4, but then he goes queen d4. Prob no, he can't go queen d4. Hold on, what is he playing after knight g4? What is he playing after knight to g4? Um, probably queen d7. Probably queen to d7. Rook takes e3. No, rook takes e3 is strong. Queen c8, rook e8. So what is he going to do after knight g4? And I'm encouraging you guys to think along me, alongside me. Because, yeah. We want to figure this out, but I don't see anything wrong with it. So let me do this. Queen c3. Okay, now if I take on e3 with the knight, he wants to go c5. But I can go on queen c5 here, which looks just really strong. Um, so let's do this. Okay, well. That was definitely not an improvement for him. Ah, uh, did I take too quickly on e3? Because I'm in a little bit of a pin now, but it's actually not an issue. Oh, is it? I want to go rook f8, but then he can take on e3, actually. Hmm. Okay, but this can't be too much of an issue. I refuse to believe that this is an issue. But it's a little bit annoying, I have to say. A little bit annoying, this pin. Maybe I could have done this maybe smarter by taking on e3 with the rook, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Anyways, too late. No going back. Hmm. Hmm. So I promise once I move the rook from the 8th rank, he can give a check on d8. 
that is kind of the issue hmm so you can give a check and then he gives the check on d3 again that's a problem and um, yeah how do I get out of this? <laughs> that's the question all right I'm, I'm calculating this one line so ha hang on guys I'm just calculating it real quick because I think it might work I think it might actually work so let's do this rookie five Oh, he plays rook a1. Yeah, see, guys, you know, sometimes you calculate something, and then your opponent plays something completely different. I was, of course, looking at queen d8 check followed by queen d3, and I want to go to g8 with my king, then after queen d8, I want to play queen f8, and he just splits out rook to a1. Um, threatening rook a8, which is a decent threat. Because then that would be checkmate, so let's not allow that. But it's actually strange. I mean, what can I do? If I go knight f5, he can maybe check and go g4. No, that would be probably suicide. But even that is not clear to me. Hmm. Do I have to go rook e8 back? I mean, I don't want to, but maybe I have to. Man, this knight takes e3 is really, really bothering me now that I uh, missed that. His, this pin is so annoying. Um, knight f5, rook a8, check, king h7, g4. I mean, that's the problem. Otherwise, I would just play that, probably. And then queen f2. Oh no, I can go rook e1 check first. No, that can never work for him. So I can go knight f5. I mean, then I'm in another pin, but um, unless can he go g4 first? What if he goes g4 first? Ooh. This is kind of ridiculous. He can go g4 first, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, he goes g4 and then I can go knight e7, but hmm, it's all not pretty. It's all not pretty. But whatever, I'll do it. And uh, now I want to go knight e7, check, and knight g8. Which is not pretty, but seems to work so whatever okay okay I think we've made progress <laughs> a little bit at least uh, because this king is like super weak now obviously and um, Queen f2 is an option rook e3 is a move rook e3 probably goes Queen d5 even though mm, I'm not sure how worried about I'm about that probably not worried at all probably the end game is just winning for me um all right so queen f2 probably goes rook f1 then the question is how much i've gained still i could do that absolutely and then go queen h4 i mean that looks nice too but I like rook e3 actually. Yeah. And I think this endgame is pretty much winning. No, it's, I'm, I'm very confident it's winning. Unless I've missed something concretely here, which I don't think. So I'll go after the b pawn because it's more advanced. So I'll go rook b3 now. And I take it. Now I put my rook behind this pawn. Yeah, and that's an easy win, of course, now because I'm just up a piece, just like in the last game. And now it's just about converting 
but the most difficult part is over. Let's put it like that. So just have to make sure I keep enough pawns on the board. And that's all. Um, all right, king h7 for starters. And now I could just go knight e8 if I see it correctly. Knight e8 and just grab the pawn next move. Yep, there it is. Thank you very much. And now let's convert. Conversion mode, my friends. Oh. This is, yeah, it's not easy to, to win these games, but... Um, I manage. I manage. Okay. There we go. We win. Da -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. All right. Let's not mess this up. Even King H2 is winning, but no need. No need. And he has resigned. Okay. Wow. Ah, that was once again not easy. Not easy. I'm surprised I pulled this off. I mean, after he played this move 94 and I was like thinking for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I did not expect to win. Uh, but then he played his move bishop e3, which was a mistake, definitely. No need to, to weaken his pawn structure like that. I could take it home. All right, so we advanced to age 13 and it's not gonna get easier. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future to be notified. And yeah, it would be just awesome to have you on board. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.